Hello Ticket Flipping members. In this video I'm going to be going over the buying process. I'm going to go through the whole process of finding events I want to look for, looking for various artists and venues, and actually going through and selecting tickets in a section and buying those tickets. So it's going to be a little bit of a more informal video, but I'm just going to explain like the basic process of deciding to buy some tickets and then going out and looking to actually buy some tickets. So um, let's get started. So in this video I'm going to explain how to filter events and select winners. So the main topics we're going to be covering is where to look for possible events. Um, if you're already a ticket flipping member, which of course you are, you will, can look through the Slack group and see what everyone's been talking about, you know, what is big on everyone's mind, you know, Hamilton tickets, U2, those big events were just recently in the Slack group very often, so you can check there. Of course, there is Ticketmaster upcoming events where you can look at Ticketmaster and see, you know, what events are coming up, what are they listing, and you can scroll through those and kind of decide. Uh, then you can go ahead and select by venues, so you can use uh, our venues list or if you know popular venues, uh, for example, uh, the 930 Club or Boston House of Blues, those events, those venues are small, they have about a 2,000 to 4,000 capacity and very often sell out. Then you can also go by popular artists, so currently there's a big artist going on tour, you know, let's say Kanye, Jay-Z, um, Taylor Swift, for example, is going on sale, then you can go ahead and see when those on-sale dates are, when the pre-sale dates are, you know, where the tickets are selling, and then select the venue. So if you want to buy in New York or if you want to buy in California, so you select your location more specifically. And then I'm also going to go deeper into using the toolbox to select uh, tickets in Ticketmaster. For example, you'll know what sections to buy using the toolbox pricing. And then also I'm going to also cover the next big sound, which is a tool that's also useful to see how fast an artist is growing and if he's worth looking into. So uh, let's get started. So first of all, um, as you can see, this is uh, just a short list that I made of events to buy for that I've been looking at. You guys can go ahead and steal this data if you want. I mean, it's uh, most of these most of these artists are really good to buy for. A lot of them have already had their events. Some of them, you know, we're just saving this data. Uh, for when they go on sale next time or when they're doing more events. So this is just some some basic uh, general admission events that you can look at and I was doing it by venue as you can see most of these are Boston House of Blues and then some of them have some other locations as well. Now the reason I recommend having sort of a data table you can either use Google Sheets or Excel to keep track of events is so that you can know what to buy next time around. So here I have the main things that I'm looking at, the artist, the venue, the data, uh, the type of ticket, the buy-in price, which means the cheapest, pr cheapest price, and then kind of what they're selling at or what they've sold at, and then notes. So here we have Macklemore, Luke Holmes, the re revivalist, and this is what happened to it. So it's sold out in a, a month in advance from the show. This all means that they sold out one month before the actual event, sold out 40 days in advance. This one has 700 tickets with 45 days left, and the buy-in is pretty cheap. So I don't know what this is selling for, but this is just a really good, uh, really good data to have. And the way I did this was just by going to Boston House of Blues on Ticketmaster. So I can show you that here. So I went to Boston House of Blues. Pull up the event. And um, once I had the event loaded, uh, the venue loaded, I would scroll through it and see what events they have coming up. So I would just go ahead and open up a couple of these. So as we can see, Odessa has two events coming up, which is the 11th and 12th. And of course, the first one sold first, and then, and then the second one is added on afterwards. So a lot of brokers may try to buy tickets for this. But if there is a space, as you can see here, there was a 9th, 11th, 12th. There is no event after the 11th to the 14th, so this is an indicator that they could add a show, and for this particular event, they actually did go ahead and add that show, so Odessa now has two, and for Boston House of Blues, this may still sell out because there is so much interest in Odessa, and particularly in this venue, it, they always just sell out very well. So uh, let me just open up a few of these just to take a look at it and see what happens. So I've opened up you know, just three random, you know, random artists at this venue. So I'm opening them up and um, 
it looks like well, this one, little Uzi Vert, apparently sold out already. So we'll go ahead and close that one. So we have two more. Um, so Nightmare Before Christmas. So this is an event that is the 22nd of December. So it's only about 18 days away or um, 16 days away. So not very far away at all. Um, 16 days away, you know, it's still plenty of time to sell. But how you really check it is by clicking here and seeing. So 16 days away and it still has about half the tickets remaining. So even though I can break it down by section, uh, all these tickets are $29. So the pit is obviously the $24 ones. These are 24 left because that's the most desirable section. And then this is uh, the standing room, which is probably this, which are those tickets. And then the 100 plus are these ones all the way in the back. So uh, so this tells me that this event is probably not that good to look at. So I'm going to head and uh, not buy for this. It's too close and too many tickets are remaining. So I'm going to close that off. So the next event we're looking at is The Roots. It's also in House of Blues Boston. And um, it is December 26th. So it's only a few days away, about 20 days away. Um, as we're looking at it, we can see that the pit tickets are 62, the stand room, standing room are 62, and the back are 62, and these box ones are 195. So the thing about the roots is you have to think about the demographic and think about how many people, like who wants to see this event. So mostly it's going to be an older demographic and those those people would usually like to sit instead of uh, stand. So as you can see, all the seated seats have sold out. The standing room is uh, still available and it's 20 days away. So uh, let's check the toolbox and see what we have. So 20 days away, we still have 1,200 tickets. Um, as you can see here, these, uh, based on the prices, they're 62, so we can't really differ differentiate because this is 62, this is 62, and you can see here 62. Uh, 62. So there's around 500 plus 500. So all these tickets are pretty much for these standing rooms and they're about almost equal amounts left. So this is probably an event that I would skip, although it's not a bad event. It's uh, it's probably not going to sell out the general admission and the standing room within the next 20 days. Looking through Slack to find events is also a very good option you can scroll through the feed in general and see what everyone's talking about so usually you'll get an idea of what's important right now right now of course the Taylor Swift pre-sale is going on so a lot of people are looking at those prices looking at you know what sections to buy for what's worth buying how much profit you can make on them um, of course Hamilton as you can see is also on here Hamilton's a really profitable event a lot of people make really good money with that and uh, you can kind of just scroll through the list and see what anyone's talking about and go ahead and check up on that event and see what they're saying so a lot oftentimes most people will input you know hey look I'm buying this event it's actually really good or what do you guys think about this event so those are two really good options when it comes to looking through the slack group for buying tickets another good place to check is the dicks counter this is where all the regular members, when they use a ticks counter to check an event, their link comes right here. So we can go ahead and look at their event. So let's see, uh, we can see someone search for this event. It has 168 tickets out of uh, 1650. So it's a small venue and it has a few tickets left. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And it opens up and we see, um, okay, a Charlie Brown Christmas. So, okay. So as it populates, we can see how many tickets are left, where the tickets are left. If they're for resale, what they are. So like, looks like there's a couple front rows over here, which is nice. I'm gonna click on those, and we'll see some more information on it. So this ticket is 125. So these are some actually some nice front rows, and they're not they're not even sold yet. They're just uh, not even resale. They're just front row tickets, which is kind of weird, but that they're available. Um, so let's see what these ones a little bit further back are. Um, these are still the same price, so both, so 90, so they're, they're a little cheaper, a little further back. So those are the platinum tickets. Let's see what the resale for the front row is. So it looks like for resale for front row, people are selling for, um, 
105 still. So they're not, so it hasn't really sold out, but we can click the ticks counter and see there's 81 tickets out of 1650. This event is, um, today's the 6th and it's on the 21st. So it's a couple days away, it's only got 81 tickets. So this would be a potentially a really good event to buy for. So the back tickets are $20, super cheap. And as we can see, most of them are sold out. I'm saying uh, New Jersey, you know, with Christmas coming around, a Charlie Brown Christmas, this would probably be a very good way to select tickets to buy for. Moving forward, another way to select tickets to buy for is by going directly to Ticketmaster.com and looking for events that will be going on sale. So as you can see here, it says just announced, and this tells you the on sale date. So you can look at these events, and if you know that certain events have done well in the past, or you recognize artists, for instance, um, I recognize Odessa for this example. So I'm going to go ahead and click for this event on May 9th. And um, I'm going to see how much the tickets are costing. So it brings me to the Odessa uh, tour. And I'm going to go through it. And we have Boston. And these are the early shows, December 11th and 12th. So these are already too late to buy for along with this one. So starting December 31st is where I'm going to be looking at it. So uh, let's see. We evaluate the events and see. So Kansas, uh, I'm not too familiar with Kansas or how much they sell EDM music, but um, I'm going to just stay away from it based on what I know. So let's go to the next page and see what other events are available. So Charlotte, um, North Carolina does really well here. And we have Tennessee and Orlando. So I'm going to go ahead and open these up in new tabs and um, see how they're doing. So I'm going to wait for these to load. Um, so right now I'm opening up a couple different locations. And I'm going to look at them. And what I'm going to be looking for mostly is how many tickets are left, which sections are left, and how many days to the event. So they all have about five months away. So I want to make it, right now what I want to do is make a prediction about, you know, which one do I think will sell best and which one I want to buy for. So looking at this one, it looks like this is all seated and then there's lawn. So um, this is pre-sale, so I have to unlock these. Let me go ahead and enter the code. Okay, um, and once again, I got that from pre-sale password.info on this page right here, uh, which I highly recommend you do because this way you can also find out about what shows are going on sale. If you just go to the home page, it'll tell you what's going on sale that day and what's popular and then the pre-sales for it. So it's super easy and really helpful to find uh, what events are going on sale and then also get the password for it so you can get those shows early. So Further going through this, um, we see that a lot of the front row stuff has already sold. Uh, there are some platinum tickets available, some singles uh, here and there, but mostly all the front row stuff has sold, and there's a bunch of stuff in the back, and the lawn has also sold because they're much cheaper. So these are $55, and the lawn has sold out. So if I click the toolbox, which is mostly going to be for pro and expert members who have daily access to this, but it gives me a breakdown of how many tickets are left. So these cheaper cheaper tickets, these are 55. Okay, so that means that the lawn, which is not, not on sale yet, is has 4,951 tickets that are gonna be for, 50, for $30. So there's still a huge amount of tickets and there's only 786 seats available. So this event is too far away for me to really, you know, throw in on it right now. There's no point in rushing, uh, especially if I'm going to be buying lawn because the front rows have already sold out. So moving forward to the next one. Uh, once again, I have to unlock it. Uh, and usually the the codes, the pre-sale codes are the same for multiple events, multiple venues. And they'll be, this is just the city card code, but there's multiple pre-sale codes that you can use to unlock the tickets. So right now it looks like we have the stage floor tickets which are going for 109 um, which is pretty expensive and then the lower is going for 47 and this I'm guessing will be available 
once the actual show goes on sale, not just the pre-sale. So looking at this event, uh, Orlando, Florida, let's go ahead and click the toolbox and see. So already we can see that out of 6,000 tickets, um, only 2,000 are available, which is significant. And there's only 63 floor tickets remaining. So, so that tells you that you know this is really a section to look at. People really want to get up close with Odessa and are willing to pay 109 to look at it. And since it's you know five months away, it's very likely that people will end up paying much more for this. You know, you'll be able to sell this for 200. dollars So this, this right here, this is a, a, a section. So and it's only got. 63 left. So that's a big indicator that, you know, hey, I might want to buy for this. Even though they're more expensive, they're 109 as compared to 47, uh, people will pay a lot to get up close to their favorite artists. So I'm going to leave this one um, up for now because it's a good one to look at. And then let's go to the next one. So here I have Jacksonville, Florida. And uh, let me go ahead and unlock these as well. So now we have you know what tickets are available so concourse level 200 level 100 level and they go up in price these ones are the same this is uh, not so it looks like the GA the pit has already sold out um, it's not letting me buy any tickets unless let me try to do this Uh, it's coming up gray, but for some reason it's letting me pull these tickets. So let's go ahead and go through with this and see what actually happens and if I can get these tickets. So, so I got them. So I can get two GA pit tickets for this event. I don't know why it was showing up gray, but I guess they're all available, but I'm not going to buy those right now. So let's, let's analyze this a little bit more. Um, so continuing to look on, so continuing to look at this. Um, we can see, let's check the toolbox and see once again that out of 6,500, this many have sold out. So 4,000 have sold out and it just went on sale. So once again, this is looking like a good, a good thing to buy for. And the toolbox is telling us that there are 36 pit tickets remaining at 118. So this is also a good, a, probably a good place to buy for even though it's right up front but the 100th level are definitely further back and if people are going to really want to get in there they're going to be paying anywhere upwards to $300 for these pit tickets so they can go from $100 all the way up to $300 um, we have sold Odessa tickets in the past and they always do really well so moving on to the next event uh, this is Nashville Tennessee so let's unlock this and it looks like there's no map for this one, but there's just Lawn General Admission and General Admission Pavilion. So I'm not exactly sure what this venue is set up like, but out of 6,000, almost 7,000 tickets, only 2,000 have sold out. So this one uh, for Tennessee is probably not something I'm worried about right now. It's uh, not going to happen for a while, and there's a bunch of GA tickets, and it hasn't sold out. So put this one on, you know, put it on the the events to buy for a list and watch it over time and you can continue to check back and see how this event is, has done and you guys can actually go ahead and probably still buy this event because this video will be out by this point so you can check back and see how this is done um, lastly I'm looking at Charlotte which is a um, another event for Odessa and um, I'm getting the static map let's see if maybe we can get the the other map so I don't know why it does that but sometimes it'll give you the static map sometimes it'll give you the actual uh, live map so you can look at it so GA seats $42 these are nice and then the lawn are $32 the pit is 109 so let's check once again how many tickets we have in here so out of 5,000 this is a smaller venue than the other two uh, about half have sold and if we look at it once again pit is at 90 tickets remaining so that is once again a really good sign uh, pit, these pit tickets I can pretty much guarantee will sell out they will sell out and then you'll be able to sell them for more so uh, I can't guarantee how much more 
but if you were to go ahead and buy these right now, or as soon as this uh, video is released to everyone, um, you can make money on these seats very easily. So that's how we uh, look at Odeza, and that's how you kind of evaluate it using the, the ticket flipping toolbox, and this is of course more for the pro and expert members who have access to the toolbox. And as regular members, you can also go to the toolbox page and um, install it and check how many events are left, but you only have three searches per day, so you'll be able to check three events per day maximum. Another tool you can use to check possible events is by going to thenextbigsound.com and what this site does is give you information about artists mostly based on social media and this tells you about how much traction certain artists have online through social media, through Instagram, through Twitter, on YouTube and where they're most popular. So it breaks down the Twitter information based on location so it'll tell you that if there's a lot of conversation about a particular artist in this city, you are more likely to sell more tickets in that location. So, for example, I'm going to be looking at an artist. Um, let's say I want to look at Nightmare. So Nightmare is an EDM musician. Um, he has a large, right away tells me he has a large audience reach. Engagement is occasional stable and metric he's not really growing but he's stable so he is based in los angeles california that's always good to keep in mind buying in the hometown of the artist is also always more likely to sell tickets quicker quicker and faster so going down uh, we can see that there is a unusual amount of chatter about nightmare in connecticut so this uh, right away tells me that maybe I should look for events here. So of course we have Santa Monica, his hometown second, and then Chicago, which really does well for most EDM events. So these top three are the ones you really want to look at, and of course most of it's in the United States. So just based off that, I'm going to go ahead and look for Nightmare and Connecticut. Let me make sure I can uh, spell this properly. Okay. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and open it up on Ticketmaster and see if he has any upcoming events in Connecticut. So, Baltimore, um, that's that region. Uh, so, I'm going to go ahead and open up these event, this event right here for Baltimore and see how the tickets are doing here. And like I said, this is only, you know, uh, 17 days away or less than that, not even 17 days away. So let's take a look at it and see how we're doing. So uh, it says that GA is available printed home. These are all resale tickets. So resale means that it has sold out, but it it's not looking like it's selling for very much, only 59 for resale. So it's probably too late for me to buy in, but it does show you that a lot of these have sold. So there's a total of 18 listings on StubHub, checking with the toolbox. Uh, total tickets, 18 tickets only, and five listings, top price of 63. So they're not reselling very well. Um, and there's a total of, you know, if we add these up, total of 15 tickets left on here. So I'm surprised the prices aren't higher based on this data. You could probably buy these tickets and sell them for more. Um, but it looks like it's sold out. Mostly there's only 15 tickets plus 18. There's 30 tickets with about 15 days left. Usually that's a very good sign that a market's going to go up. So you could buy for this event right now and still make good money on it. Okay, so that's how you evaluate it using the next big sound. So I'm going to leave this open. And another way we evaluate stuff is by looking at directly at venues. So this is Terminal 5. Uh, this is a very small event, small venue in New York. It has about a 5,000 capacity. And uh, a lot of events sell here. So if we just scroll down, we see Illenium. A lot of EDM sells here. A lot of rap sells here. Uh, there's two events for Little Uzi Vert, as you can see, two of them one after the other. 
John Bellion, two events, Nightmare, what we were just looking at. Um, three for this event, two of them sold out. Grammatic, um, a lot of events have sold out here, so this is a great way to buy events if you recognize a good artist here. Excision has two events here. Uh, just really good to look at. And um, just what stands out to me is Grammatic and Big Wild. This is a pretty popular artist that has not sold out. It's on New Year's, so I'm not sure if that's uh, in favor or against it. I don't know if people necessarily want to go see EDM music on New Year's, but it's likely that it'll do well. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, look at this a little more in depth. So I'm going to pull up Grammatic. I'm going to research him on Next Big Sound and see how he's doing. And once again, this, this site is completely free. You just sign up. And uh, so it tells you that it's stable, mainstream, large audience, audience engagement, occasional. So once again, pretty normal looking. So it's looking like the Twitter is pretty quiet, only 90 mentions in uh, Chicago, uh, Los Angeles. Um, it doesn't look like anything extraordinary standing out here. Uh, so we would probably not base it on this too much. So I'm going to go ahead and look at Grammatic and see if he is on Ticketmaster because this way I can really delve deeper into the ticket analytics and see you know do I want to buy for a location or not so as you can see here uh, Chicago is available which is a good sign it's December 31st or February 2nd so you have much more time to sell these tickets and the will turn all these events for for uh, grammatic are good so I'm going to open up multiples of these and take a look at them and just uh, kind of show you some more analysis on the events. So let's open up this one. Let's open up Chicago. Um, of course, Los Angeles, the Wiltern is a good event. Uh, Observatory does well. Dallas, House of Blues, and the Fillmore. So that's, that's a good bit. So let's just run through these quickly and see if any of them stand out or jump out of this. So I'm expecting Chicago to do to be doing better. I'm expecting New York to do well. Um, I just want to see how many tickets are left. So as you can see, a lot of people are already reselling for this. People are reselling general admission for 179 So there's already brokers who have hopped on this, and they know that they can make money here. So uh, they're looking to buy these tickets. So these are, of course, all resales. So we wouldn't want to buy here. We want to go directly here, tickets, and then buy them off this site, which happens to be Access. It's just another place to buy tickets, uh, just like Ticketmaster, and they're cheaper than buying it directly from the resale, obviously. So as I look at this, let's see, uh, this data won't give me much, but there's only 49 tickets available here. And let's check StubHub. There are a total of 80 tickets there, and somebody's selling them for $300. So this is telling me that this event could very well sell out and you could make some good money on these chromatic tickets for New York and I do very much think you will so this is a good event that's just how you evaluate it um, I just happen to know grammatic is a good EDM artist and um, on you know on ticketflipping.com we'll have list of top venues to look at and then also top artists so when you have some top EDM artists and a top venue together then that really shows that okay this is probably an event I want to buy for and then further looking into it only solidifies that so I'm going to close this one for now um, so Chicago there's actually still tickets left for this it's February 2nd so we have plenty of time to buy they're super cheap $28 um, this is a really good already I'm already liking this so about 2,000 tickets have sold it still has two month, three months left almost you have all of December January so yeah two months and uh, they're all general admission. This is a really, really good sign. He had a lot of talk about on uh, Next Big Sound. Not insane amounts, but still a good sign. So we have this many sold, about 1,800 um, sold. So I'm already pretty satisfied with how this is looking, especially when these tickets are $28. If this event sells out, you're going to be able to sell these $28 tickets for, you know, 50 at the least, but most likely you're going to be selling them around 70, 80, 90, 100 dollars a piece, which is going to be insane profit margin when you think about it. So 
this is also a good event, definitely to look at. So his next location is the Wiltern in Los Angeles. It's looking like there's still general admission. Floors 35, balconies 25. Floor is always more expensive. So let's break it down and see how many are left of each. So um, Ticketmaster doesn't give us the total amount of tickets, but I know the wheel turn is about 2,000 something tickets. So it looks like half have sold out. It looks like the floors are obviously selling better at 727 left. And they're more expensive, but they're selling better. Uh, this will also potentially sell out by January, uh, February 16th. So this is also a good event. And then we have some on TicketWeb. Uh, we can't really evaluate it using TicketWeb. Um, there is a, for expert members can't evaluate using TicketWeb by checking specifically through here. So I'm going to go ahead and close this one for now. But for more information on how to do it with TicketWeb, just um, message us and that will show you uh, how expert members can check TicketWeb events. Moving forward, House of Blues Dallas. Uh, there's general admission floors for $25, which is a good sign. Um, once again, Ticketmaster doesn't tell us how many tickets there are, but I know there's about between 3,000 to 4,000, 2,500 to 4,000. So 1,566 remaining, that's already a good sign that this event is selling well. And if we have any StubHub data, we see that people are already reselling for $66. So 25 you're going to be paying about $32 after fees and everything. So they're selling for about double um, at the maximum price and still above the price at 43 with only with only 44 tickets on StubHub. So this is these are all good events. So I think Grammatic is actually uh, not very well known by a lot of resellers, but I think he's going to do very well. So for the Fillmore, um, you know, we still have four months, which is a huge amount of time. So this is probably not very significant. There's only about 300 tickets that have sold, but it's so far away that it's hard to really tell where this is going to go. Most likely this event's also going to sell out. So I think Grammatic's going to sell out all these small little venues, and we're looking at making uh, some good returns on these. So furthermore, let's go ahead and look at another uh, site. So this looks very similar to this Terminal 5 website. Um, they're both run by the Bowery Presents but this is actually the Bowery Ballroom, which is a completely different event. So looking here, another really cool way to understand what events to buy is by looking at this site and then looking back on Terminal 5. And oftentimes they'll have the same artist perform on both side, on both both at both venues. So if we see that it sells out on one of these, um, then we can go ahead and assume that it will probably sell out for another location because a lot of them sell out for both venues. People will buy what's closer to them. So on here I'm looking through it and I'm not really seeing a lot of the same events. Um, I'm seeing a lot of doubles. That's looking like uh, some kind of special Hanukkah event. But not a lot of the same artists that we were seeing on Terminal 5. So it's probably not a good way to compare them currently, but a lot of times there are events you can compare, especially by looking at you know, multiple events and looking on Ticketmaster and looking at it for one venue and another venue. And if you see a bunch of the same statistics, for instance, New York and Chicago uh, tend to sell very similarly for uh, GA events. So if they have about the same venue size, same artist, and it's sold out here, and that one's getting low, then you can assume that that, that event will probably sell out, and you can use that to make your buying decision. So this has been some very useful information. Um, I'm sure you'll find it helpful to help you pick events, and I hope this was useful. Uh, you should definitely go ahead and try out some of the stuff you've learned, um, referring to how to check on Ticketmaster, how to cross check on multiple different websites, how to look at one artist that's doing well in different cities. And uh, feel free to message us directly at Ticket Flipping in the Slack group so that you, we can confirm for you the events you found are good. And also feel free to ask in the general group for more input. Uh, more input obviously means better buying decisions. 
Um, this has been more of a walkthrough process of how to buy tickets, just looking for different events and deciding that, hey, I want to buy for this. Of course, there's also other things to keep in mind, such as are these mobile tickets, are they PDFs, are they hard tickets, you know, can I have these sent to me in time and then can I then go ahead and sell them in time. So if they're hard tickets, you want to make sure that the, the mailing period is long enough and then if they're PDF tickets, which you often really want to buy because you can just go ahead and re-upload them to StubHub, re-upload them to Skybox and sell them there. And a lot of this has been done using the Ticket Flipping Toolbox which is available for uh, regular members, pro and experts, but once again, for more uses, you will have to upgrade to those higher levels so you can thoroughly check out more events or you can just check in three per day or just checking them in different ways because the toolbox is definitely not necessary, but it really helps us out by knowing how many tickets are available in those sections so that we can make those buying decisions ahead of time and you know really help narrow down what you want to buy for. So thanks for watching guys. Um, Best of luck reselling tickets.